trap bread here. Another trap bread. YouTube. Stony phony type of video. Stony phony. That's what these guys called me at the uh, on Facebook. Stony phony. What's going on with my camera? It's freezing. Anyway, trap bread. Hopefully this comes out. Got the, this order manufactured. Quiet. It's probably sees a rat. Rats coming down through here. Anyways, sh stop it. This is the uh, 24 inch. Knock it off. Colony trap with the handle. It's got a little handle, little bait container, and uh, two swing doors, one on either side. They're eight inches, eight inches long. And the trap itself is 24 inches. So anyway, <clears throat> they swing freely open and then they just close gravity, closure. So that's pretty much it. And I got 10 that I made. It takes a little while to crank these babies out, believe it or not. Yeah, you gotta bend the metal. And uh, you know, do all the twists. These are woven this is my top of the line i don't clip them i weave them type traps so they're uh, at a premium but i'm doing a sale for christmas so this guy's got a uh got a good deal we'll put up an auction at uh, seven dollars starting bid each so he got a uh, ten uh, nine for sixty three dollars Anyways, these are the 36 inches that are bent in the doors. I haven't put them all on yet. That one's done. But uh, I got this one done. Actually, I got a few more done too. But this one's fully done with the bait container. So this is what this looks like. And uh, then I got a few more prototype models like the Big Mouth. That one's... Uh, it's uh, 12 inches high by, I believe it's 18 inches wide, by, 24, uh, by 36 inches long. So it's a big behemoth, some bitch. And it's also uh, spring loaded, which is what that bungee cord is acting as. I'm gonna put some steel springs on it on the corners of each door, so it should have four, minimum of two springs, but ideally four springs. And then those things that look like handles those are actually the locks. Um, so, anyways, this down here is uh, the muskrat mansion uh, type of colony trap with the logging doors, as you can see. And uh, it's got a split so that each opening is only six inches wide six by six to basically skirt around some laws that won't let you have any bit wider opening in certain states and this one's a wider trap it's got a four inch wide by i believe it's 12 inch long uh, a four, actually it's four inches high by 12 inches wide opening and then it has a sloped entries as you can see Anyways, I can't get back there because I got all these stacked up right now. This big bunch of stuff that I'm working on. <laughs> but at least it's all bent and cut. There's no more rolls of wire. It's all in process. So that's a good thing. It takes a lot to put out these kind of traps. And then to do them well. And uh, I invested in a wire bender. Oh, it's about three, four years ago now. But I wasn't using it, I was still making them by hand till I decided I'd get a nice result if I just used the machine. So we went to the machine, and so that's the result you're seeing. This, anyways, this is uh, this order's getting boxed up and going out. I got two orders here. One guy got an auction for nine, and he uh, he lucked out, he got them for seven bucks a piece. These traps normally sell for 11. 
and uh, I actually threw a handle on them. I don't normally put a bait container or a handle on it, but I upgraded these to that. Otherwise, these are normally like $13 like this, but I uh, run in a special now. So this trap red, you have a very Merry Christmas, and if you want to get some really good traps, get a hold of my sales on eBay, Bigfoot Traps and Snares. Dot com. Well, actually, we don't have a dot com yet. Shh. We're on eBay though, and Facebook.